Hello, Veteran0121 here. Welcome back. And we are Let's Playing Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last episode, I explored more of this Colony 9 area. And uh, this guy has a quest for us. You're the oldest person in Colony 9, huh? Well, what do you want about? Your back is playing up again, huh? Well, do they have any uh, chiropractors in this world? Medicinal brog oil. Okay. I don't know where you find that, but from brogs. Oh, enemies. All right. Yeah, leave it to me. Wait, you got more? Maybe that lass who's obsessed with Kenny Rohan has got some. Interesting. Okay. The Ra Nira Nira. Hello. Nopon. Nopon. That's what those things are called. Okay. <laughs> I gotta remember that. There's a there's a Homs boy called Lucas. Ah, I see. So we're supposed to deliver a letter, huh? Don't read letter. What happens if I do? Oh well. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Yeah, the the C button is pan camera. I keep hitting the wrong one. Where's my shiny treasure? I get sad if I don't look at it every day. I'd be really happy if you find it for me. What's your treasure? Blue glass bead. I never leave residential districts, so it around here somewhere. Please, you have to find my treasure. Okay. Wait a minute. Is that it? Over there? I see a red exclamation point. I bet you anything that's where it is. Hmm. Oh shit. Oh crap. Oh man. I did not mean to jump in the water here. <laughs> Oops. Wow, that sucks. So how do I get back up? <laughs> oh crap, man. Ooh, what's this? Dance apple. I wasn't even thinking you could fall in the frickin' water. <laughs> but I guess you can in this game. I guess maybe you can go anywhere. Anywhere you want. Man, I love this music. Hold on a minute. Alright, yeah, I had a little bit of a problem there with uh, interruptions, so let's uh, continue on. I'm going to skip the enemies. All I want to do is find my way back up to... Uh, where the hell is it? <laughs> where am I supposed to be going here? Okay. Some strong dandelion. Prairie dragonflies. I'm gonna leave those enemies alone. Or creatures or whatever. I like how they don't attack me though. That's pretty nice. I can just go about my business, collect items. Well, that was a very, very ridiculous unplanned detour.
Quest complete. Oh. Particular bug, huh? Sweet. That music is freaking awesome, man. I love that theme. Anyways, where the hell was I? Oh, yes. Trying to walk all the way back over here to, uh... <laughs> to get that freaking item that I missed. Or that I didn't miss. It's just that, you know, I decided to jump in the water instead of actually get the item. I meant to do that. Yeah, that's right. I meant to do it. I'm just kidding. guy looks busy. He's moving with a purpose. Okay, let me try this again. <laughs> Be very, very careful. Okay, we want to run over here, and yay, quest completes. So you get 50 experience, 1200 gold, yippity doo da. What the hell? Oh, okay, there we go. Wait a minute. Hmm. What's up here? Red lettuce. Quest complete. Sweet. Another quest done. Eh, I'm not gonna go any farther. Somehow I get the feeling I'm not supposed to go up there. to become nighttime apparently. So yeah, I guess I'll uh I guess I'll go over here and go towards the uh destination flag. He disappeared! It's not right. Yeah, probably because it's about to become nighttime. Fortress ent entrance. Discovering landmarks. Colony features landmarks, important places and hidden areas, and locations. Places of interest. Discovering landmarks and locations will award experience. Find all the landmarks and locations in an area to open up the complete area map. Alright. You idiot! 
Cadets! What the hell are you playing at? Uh-oh. The Colonel's gonna explode. <laughs> Crashing the mobile artillery into a house. How long have you been in the force? Sorry, sir. It's just that we were trying to go as fast as we could, like you ordered. But it's impossible to get back to the military district in only 40 seconds. I don't want any excuses. Champions don't whine. They win. Yes, sir. You're a disgrace to the uniform. Are you forgetting the shame you brought on this force during joint maneuvers with Colony 6? Stick your back into it, maggots! Move it! Do you not know that the authoritarian... Yes, sir. ...power doesn't work? Get the artillery back to the military district double time! Then I want a million press-ups from both of you, and you better not stop until your biceps explode! Press-ups? Never heard of a press up, but if it's a push up, uh, it'd be your triceps exploding, not your biceps, Colonel, but whatever. We can't move the artillery. What? You better give a damn good reason why. Sir, the impact of the crash damaged the ether conduction cable. The ether fuel proceeded to leak out, and now the cylinder is empty. Well, change the cylinder then. Can't you even do something as simple as that? The auxiliary cylinders have all been used up. It'll be three days until more come in, sir. I told you to keep a stock of fuel in reserve! Sorry, sir. You're nothing but slackers! Damn. Same old colonel. At this rate, the men will all be dead before they see any action. Either that or they'll just commit suicide because I can't stand working for such a... Yeah, I think the word I was looking for, or the name I was looking for to describe this guy over here, uh, this freaking moron. Military a-hole, I guess, would be the best way I'd describe him. Just because you're in the military doesn't make you an a-hole, but generally there's a lot of a-holes in the fucking military. I'm not gonna lie. And I hate his kind, his authoritarian... You will do what I say, or blah blah blah, that shit doesn't work. Your men will hate you. Eventually there will be a mutiny. Yes. Yeah, it, it doesn't work. That drill sergeant method, it doesn't work, man. Seriously, it doesn't. Hello. Anywho, let's explore the military district. Activate some more quest stuff. Doesn't look like we can go in there right now. Anything over here? A couple people. Hmm. Pointless. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. How's it going? Hey, Nick. Who's this guy named Nick? This guy talks like a loser. Weak-willed soldier. Yeah, he's definitely weak-willed. What do you have to trade? Colony shoes, croaking brog bag. 
Aether Protect and a Black Kiwi. Eh. Yeah, see you later, dude. I don't think I have anything to trade right now. But yeah, this training... Once I get, like, a lot more items, I think I'm going to be doing a lot more trading, but... What's up? As of right now, I don't have enough of anything to really do any of that. What am I going to take care of? Defeating the monsters around an anti-air battery. Oh. Two ridge antholes? Sure, I could do that. They come out at night, huh? Thanks a lot for the info. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can get another one from you? Yeah, why not? What's up? Colony Crabbles? Sure, you can count on me. Anything else? Okay. Jump up there. Hello. Hello. Ah, okay, I already talked to you. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. It's over here. Oh, hey, you're Monica. Uh, okay. Soldier in love. Alright, who are you? Eric. Okay, what's this guy about? Two faced scientist. Hi there. Yeah. What do you have? Hunting knives and a bro ooh, another broken part. I'll take it if I can. <laughs> All right. So what do you have? How's it going? Yeah, I, I know I've been forgetting to trade with some of these people. At least see what they have. I don't know. See, I don't know if I want a prairie dragonfly. I can just find that, can I? <laughs> what the hell is the point of this? I guess nothing. <laughs> Anybody over here? What about during the day? Guy named Dean. No, you're definitely not the only one. Cool-headed scientists. Hi there. Fine. Do you want to trade? Hi there. Colony top, ether product, and a giant hornet. Eh. Garbage. Or at least, I don't know if it's garbage. It might be nice later on. What's up? Or 
are some Lake Flammy on the beach near Anti-Air Battery 1. Sure. Let me guess, you got a whole bunch of other monsters you want me to kill, right? Baby Armu, yeah, we could do that. Let me guess, you got more. <laughs> Stone Crabbles. Sure. Anything else? Okay. Isn't there somebody else around here? Test of courage, huh? Maybe I'll be the first one to not come running back with their tail between their legs. Smoothly? With that guy? I don't know, man. Eventually that shit gets old. This guy's a lieutenant colonel. A freaking light colonel. Yeah, that's what we in the army we call a lieutenant colonel, a light colonel. It's easier that way. Because <coughs> if you put lieutenant and colonel in the same sentence, it just doesn't make sense. Because lieutenants are like the bottom of the barrel when it comes to officers. And in my opinion, they're some of the worst officers, too. Because they run in there and they think they know everything and they try to boss enlisted people around and it's a bunch of happy horseshit because they've only been in, like, maybe a year or not officer school or something like that and they're trying to boss around E4s and E5s that have been in, like, three, four years and it's bullshit. Yes. But, yeah, why am I talking about the military? I'm not in the military anymore. I don't have to worry about that shit. Hell, you got some lieutenants trying to boss sergeant majors around. You know, the guys that have been in like 20 years and have earned their rank. But technically these lieutenants outrank them. What a crock of shit. That's how you know the rank system in the military is fucked up. But, uh, anyways, I think that's all the quests that I can get for now, right? Well, I'm not sure, but... It kinda looks that way. So I'm gonna end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Xenoblade Chronicles. In the next episode, we're gonna continue the story. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.